I've mentioned this before in previous uploads, and I'll mention it here. Other than the uh, building of the legs, the other part of these builds I hate the most is the hands. It's not because they're difficult, it's because building each individual finger takes a minimum of an hour. And even though these ones aren't as complex, it still took an incredibly long amount of time for me to actually uh, put these things together. I started around noon today. It's almost midnight. That's how long it took for me to build two hands for this figure I'm building. Now I gotta attach them to both hand to both arms here and here. And I also need to go in and reinforce this arm maybe a little bit. Let me see how it crunches. Yeah, I gotta put something right here so that doesn't happen again, but yeah. Do I do anything with this arm here? No, this arm's nice and robust for the most part. Now I was anticipating I need to do something like this. So I made some little ribs like that. You can see it right there. And all I need to do is just combine them and now stop them from doing what you just saw. So I'm gonna do all that off camera, get the, get the hands attached and then come back. If I remember correctly, I recorded the last bit at 11.45. It took me, if I remember correctly, 30 more minutes just to attach this hand and this hand right here. So I still have a ways to go with this figure. There are trinkets and whatnot that I gotta attach and whatnot. Still gotta finish off the skirt. I gotta rebuild that foot right there. I gotta actually add onto the uh, platform right here because currently with the way she's set up, if I remove this little uh, soda thing here, she'll actually want to tip, for, uh, tip forward and whatnot. And I obviously can't have to do that. So I need to add an extra sheet of foam that goes like right about here or so to make sure that all that weight is more pushed into the uh, platform that she's standing on instead of just on this one little piece right here. So when it comes to the current model I'm building, I have about like another week or so to fully get her finished. And again, when you see the done video, you kind of understand why I'm being a little... Uh, Koi, or however you pronounce it, on showing what this character is. But if you saw the community tab, you'll know exactly who this character is and who I'm building. But, uh, yeah. So, hopefully next week or so, expect an actual proper done video for this figurine. And now it's a little over 1 a.m. And I added a little bit to the uh, base like I was talking about. And uh, what I need to do is I need to add some type of weight to the back right here in this little section because as you can see, it is lifting off the ground. And that means she's always wanting to go forward. So if I add some weight right here, that will more or less uh, resolve the issue. But for the time being, I add this little piece of wood right here to act as a uh, reinforcement to stop the forces. And surprisingly enough, that's really all that's necessary to keep her from completely tipping over. But like I said, eventually I need to add some weight to it right here so she doesn't want to tip completely because eventually this wool will actually cause her to fall over. But I'll worry about that later on. So I think that's pretty much it for this video.